Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Yamaha and especially Massimo Marigali's comments after the test in Qatar. Now, speaking recently, he said, Here we thought we could prove what we saw in Malaysia. All the improvements that we have done there, we basically saw here. A slight improvement in top speed, but the gap to our competitors is still important. And honestly, I hoped we would be closer. I honestly did not expect our competitors to make such a big jump this year. He was then asked, is the prognosis good for Quadraro's title hopes? And he said, unfortunately, no. The pace is not too bad, he said. For sure, we are not in the top three, but it's not bad. Especially here, more than in Sepang, the gap during the time attacks is still so important. It's this point where we should focus all our energy that we have. Many times we start from the front and it gives you all the benefits. And in this area, we have to improve. Now this and his words are very similar to what Quadraro said. He said, in the time attacks, it was good to see 1 minute 51s, but we're still very far from the top. We have an awful lot of work to do. Hopefully, we can find a solution during the season, but we are still very far away. And I suppose this is kind of the words that has me very worried about Yamaha. You know, they've spent a few years now trying to fix this problem, and it's not just the inline four is the problem. They do have to run lower aero because of the inline four, I, I do believe. But, you know, while the pace is good, they're not able to exploit their really, really strong area, which is in the corners. You know, they have to run the wider lines. The Ducatis are now kind of hybriding into that. You know, there's only one really that rides in the V, but the rest of the Ducatis kind of ride like Yamaha. So therefore... And um, they block the Yamaha because they can slow up a small bit because they have the grunt coming out of the corners where Yamaha and the Aprilia's have to carry that speed because they don't have the grunt out of the corner. But my major worry here is that Yamaha seem not to be learning from the past. They're still in the same problems that they were in even from the 2020 season, you know, when the last three seasons it's been the same problem with the bike they've added horsepower effect up the handling now they don't understand the aero there's so much more complexity going on with the bike it just seems to me it's just it's going to be very hard to keep fabio quadraro at the end of the season if it's going to be a season like the 2023 season but I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of Massimo Marigali's words? Do you agree or do you not agree? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.